Yes. Yes. I don't need this up in front of me. Hello everyone, this is Person Man 14 and welcome to Spy Fox in Dry Cereal with Hi, I'm Batilda Nocturne. <laughs> I'm new to the YouTubes. Yes. And we are doing something a little different today for Valentine's Day. We thought we would do a dumb game with the drinkies. Clinkies. <laughs> uh, we are going to be playing this amazingly difficult game because of... Super difficult. So hard. Uh... As I'm sure many of you, all of you actually, I'm sure all of you watched my Smooth Brain trivia game. And it was incredible. I broke all of the records. We did so smooth that I thought I needed to be educated again by the masterful Spy Fox. So we decided we were going to do that with a little bit of a twist. Uh, basically, the the rules are this, of this, are this, wow, are that we will participate with these adult beverages every time there's a god-awful pun, or any time we make a decision that is awful, <laughs> and immediately recognized as awful, so. Yes, and we are doing this responsibly with just a little bit of beer responsibly responsibly that we're not doing we're not going to go beyond our limits or anything we just thought this would be a good fun disclaimer disclaimer song disclaimer song i didn't do <gasps> <laughs> so yeah that was good that that happened well i'm here to troubleshoot with you yeah Moral support that's recording, that's recording. I like to double check that because it's surprising how many times that fails. <laughs> is that motherfucking <laughs> the spy box? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's trying, isn't it? It's flicking, yes. It's oh? <laughs> Got milk? Not anymore. Is Everything is going just as I planned. I mean, it's Soon bad, the but entire it's world fun. will be without dairy milk. Might be no butter on toast, <laughs> no ice cream, no cheddar cheese, and nothing but dry cereal. Nothing can stop me now. <laughs> Again, you're in control of the map. Somewhere over the Mediterranean Sea. Would you like our Italian entree, sir? No, thanks. It gives me hives. Our vegetarian dinner, then? Nope. Gives me the vapors. Then may I recommend the Greek plate? It's delicious. All right, if you insist. Enjoy. It's good to see you, Agent Fox. Ha! Ah, monkey Penny. Now this is a real TV dinner. Right. Yesterday, our spy operatives discovered the factories and offices of Amalgamated Moo Juice Incorporated abandoned and drained of milk. Soon, the entire world's remaining milk reserves will be depleted. The idea of eating dry breakfast cereal is pretty hard to swallow. Yes, it is. Here's That's a bad joke. Yeah. That's a really bad joke. Feta cheese. A low grade, too. Spy operatives took Feta that picture in the one. office of Mr. Howard Hugh That's Pepper Utterly III. Feta 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 President and CEO of Feta Amalgamated Feta. Moo Juice Incorporated. Feta. Exactly. We presume he has valuable information on the dairy crisis. The only available picture of him is hidden in your mashed potatoes. Finding Utterly is your top priority. He shouldn't be hard to spot. 
The feta cheese samples found in Utterly's office have been traced back to the island of Acidophilus. Your plane will be flying over the island any minute now. I've already fun. set up the whole command center where yeah. you'll rendezvous with me and later on <laughs> with Quack. The entrance code is in your fortune cookie. Any questions? No, I'm on my way. Good. Monkey Penny, out. <laughs> I'm 11 again. <laughs> right. I played this as a kid and never beat it because it was too hard. Same has never completed it. I what wish I had left my parachute in my other tuxedo. Maybe one of my special spy gadgets will help me. I wonder which one I should pick. Oh no. Okay. Um. That one. <laughs> Ain't got that poop. <laughs> well, it, I mean, it. <laughs> Pardon me. That it airline works. food will get you every time. That's certainly not the kind of entrance a super spy like myself normally makes. Hmm. So this is the sleepy little Greek island of Acidophilus. I seem to have arrived unfashionably early, since nothing seems to be open. I should meet up with Monkey Penny at the Mobile Command Center. Alright, alright. Do we want to check the fortune cookie? I mean, that is... Hold, hold on. Let me... There we go. That way we can see our pockets. There we go. Pockets are good. Okay, how do we get to the pocket? I don't know. I so, should probably make an appearance at the Mobile Command Center, or they're going to worry. Well, let's go let's find that Mobile Command mobile Center. Com I think that's the Mobile Command Center, because... Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. We need... We need the code. And I think that that's in the fortune cookie. Try going to the bottom left corner. Okay, okay, okay. Five 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 six two two zero. How fortunate that Monkey Penny gave me this entrance okay, code. Okay, one more time. You remember the second half. Five 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 six two two zero. Yeah. Five. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> six two two zero. Two zero. Hello, Spycore Mobile Command Center. Penny, I've got your number. Bad joke. Now that's a person-to-person -person phone call. Glad you could drop in, Spycore. Hello, monkey. <laughs> monkey Penny. So what do you think of Skycorp's new Greek Island Mobile Command Center? Impressive. Disguising it as a half-buried boat in the middle of the town square with a stroke of genius. Nobody would ever notice that. <laughs> that was Professor Quack's idea. Where is Quack? Oh, he'll be here soon to refill the spy gadget vending machine. In the meantime, he sent a couple of things ahead for your mission. Good, because a spy without a gadget is like a shopping cart without a broken wheel. How apt. Now pay attention. This is Greek money. It's called drachma. You may need to buy a few things around here on the island. And this is a, a toothbrush. And I sure could use one after that airplane meal. Don't put that in your mouth. Okay. It's not a regular toothbrush. It's a special <laughs> laser toothbrush. Let me show you how it works. You hold the laser toothbrush, apply the minty fresh laser gel, push the button, then you can use it to cut through really thick steel. Hmm, I guess that's one way to fight cavities. So, do we have any idea where Mr. Utterly is being held? No solid evidence yet, but you might want to check out that feta factory down by the docks. Feta factory, huh? I thought I smelled something suspicious. I think I found Yeah. <laughs> Okay, but let's check out this vending machine. I remember really wanting a spy I vending machine. I sure wish Quack would get here so I could get some more of those nifty spy gadgets. Well, maybe I can't yet. Here's where I keep my spy gadgets. Right, money. Maybe I... That's not going to do me any good. Don't see a coin slot. Do we... Okay, do let's we have go. to go check out the docks then first? I mean, that's what Monkey Penny told us to do. photograph. Check out more. Maybe let's talk to some locals. My spy watch is beeping. Spy Fox to Mobile Command Center. Please stand by. 
Spy Fox here. Hi, Spy Fox. Remember, you can call me via your spy watch anytime for help and information. Just press the mobile command button. Will do. Spy Fox, out. <laughs> spy Fox, out. Okay, let's talk to this dude. Hey, wanna see my tattoo? No. <laughs> Your mother must be so proud. <laughs> Your mother. <laughs> Your mother. Your mother. Nobody's here yet. Well, you said nothing's open, so. Right. It says, happy hour, one to three. Let's just go to the docks. The seas look calm today. That's good. I hate it when they're nervous. Man, I can just click on everything though. That's gonna be a problem. Yeah, I don't know why you do that. What if it's a clue? I don't think it will be. What if it's a clue? Well, I mean, we're at the Feta Factory. Yeah. You never know. All of this could be incredibly important. Was that marble not important? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh -oh. <laughs> Normally, I would karate chop my way right yeah, through a door, so got the but this one seems to be made of... Here's where I keep my spy gadget. Let's karate chop our way in. The laser mint. He's perfectly outlined himself. Like a spy does. Spy does. The laser toothbrush makes impervious steel doors pervious. I remembered that one. <laughs> Man, that, that was pretty crappy. Now I recognize that ass. ass. <laughs> no buts about it. That's Mr. Utterly. No buts about, about it. Dangling over a pool of piranha. Now the question is, how am I going to get his rump roast down from there? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ooh, uh, that, that made me chuckle. Well, uh, we should probably freeze it over. That's big brain, right? Hmm, so. this must be the temperature control for this pool of piranhas. Kind of an odd fixture for a feta cheese factory. The piranha pool seems to be getting colder. So otherwise you just make angry piranhas. The little beasties seem to be slowing down. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, fish on ice. That should hold them. Fish. Now for Mr. Utterly. No. <laughs> Can't just walk up stairs. Okay. <laughs> he brings his spoon. <laughs> You saved me! Thank you, Mr. Um... Uh, Fox. Spy Fox. Routine rescue, really? Now I need to get you to our mobile command center for a debriefing. <laughs> Good! I need to change my pants. I think. <laughs> You've got to stop it, Mr. Fox! All right, just calm down, Mr. Utterly. Why don't you start from the beginning and tell us what happened? Well, it all started as a typical day at the office. When you're as important as I am, you're constantly fielding international cattle calls and reviewing grazing reports. Yep, you have to stay pretty sharp in the dairy biz. I think that face gave me nightmares. Oh, and William the Kid Fuzz made their appearance. I immediately snapped into action. There were dozens of them. I fought them hoop and nail. Pow, 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 I did. My whole body is a weapon. Then suddenly, I smelled something revolting. It could only be one thing. Feta cheese! Cheese! cheese. The stink was so overwhelming that I nearly passed out. Taking advantage of my momentary asphyxiation, kidnappers choked me and then forced me into a smelly dark bag. They whisked me away to Kid Secret Island Fortress. It was just so humiliating being bagged up like a... like a piece of beef. 
But were you able to learn anything about what William the Kid is up to? Well, thanks to a little bovine ingenuity on my part, I picked a few things up. Kid's demented scheme for gaining worldwide domination is run by a front company called Nectar of the Goats Corporation. He has a five-part master plan. First, capture all the dairy cows in the world. As you know, he's already done that. Second, he built that milky weapon of destruction inside his secret fortress. Third, use this milky weapon of destruction to flood the capital with none too fresh dairy milk. Fourth, frame all the poor dairy cows for this heinous crime. Oh, jail. Fifth, take over the entire dairy world. Bye, Fox. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and disarm that this milky weapon must be of destruction. Stuck. Now the person is challenging. It. I need to find that secret <laughs> fortress and disarm that milky weapon of destruction. Oh, I almost forgot! When William the Kid's back was turned, I swiped the secret code that turns the milky weapon of destruction off! Good going! Where is it? Uh, well, I had to swallow the code before I could read it so it wouldn't be discovered. Can you believe it? I find the whole thing a little hard to swallow. We need to figure out a way to get a look at that code. Someone needs to find that secret fortress and X stop gum. the kid. Right. Professor Quack. Good morning, Spy Fox. Welcome. I took the liberty of loading the vending machine with some of my ingenious new Glad spy you gadgets. Up to work today. You should take a look at some of those Spy Fox. <laughs> they may come in handy. I just saved someone's life today. No big deal. X-ray gum. How does this work, Professor Quack? Oh, that's my new and improved beef flavor X-ray gum. Gross. Mad cow disease. I'll explain how it works. You take a stick out, put it up against something beefy, move it around, and then you can see the yucky Only stuff inside. Beefy. The best part of all is, when you are done, you can chew the gum. It actually has a very refreshing, beefy flavor. You know, four out of five dentists prefer X-ray gum for their patients who need X-rays. A true duck back. needs his fiber. I haven't heard anything more true. Pay for it somehow? I guess. That's Take not going to do me any good. Take Can you mine. cycle through them? Or is that giant thing next to it a button? Yeah. Okay. See, that so one maybe said maybe just... button. Button it. That's button. the X ray gum. Okay. There we go. So do we only get to use the toothbrush once? Well, we don't have a toothbrush, so I assume so. Mm -hmm. Maybe it wasn't there. Here's where I keep my... Let's, uh... Now, scan this if beef you don't cake. mind, Mr. Utterly, <laughs> I'm going to need to use this x-ray gum to take a look at those four stomachs of yours. This isn't going to hurt, is it? Because I get kind of dizzy when I think about pain. In fact, just saying the word pain makes me want to... Oh... Mood. <laughs> Professor Quack, your x-ray gum works perfectly. I can see everything inside Mr. Underneath's gut. We got a clock in here. Band-aid. Boo-boo. Is that headphones? Meatloaf. Meatloaf. I, I bet that's a tattoo. I found the note. All right, I now I need to find out where that punch card is. Then use it to disarm the milky weapon of destruction. Bobby Jose. I've got to look for that punch card. William the Kid disarm must be code. stopped. Okay, so I, I guess that's it. We need the punch card, but it's not inside him. Because we just see this. Which, I guess. You know. um, so we need a key, a thingy, a, a horn, and a pillow. A pillow? <laughs> I think that's something like sticky, it looks like a tube of something. Like a marshmallow. Sure. <laughs> Go up to his leg. If I had a wrench in me, I would wrench. To his what? Oh, he just made a wrench joke and you passed a wrench. Do we have to if drink for the steak roasts card, and the then sloppy I'd be joe? Progress. I don't feel like that's a that's a pun. Fair enough. Or a badge. I mean it. It's a nice detail. If of I game. had a wrench in me, I would wrench. I'm just gonna keep passing over that one. <laughs> I'm gonna keep drinking for it. I think that's probably good enough. We can exit out of here. I think that's all we need to know. I guess so. By the way, I am eight in. If that answers any questions at this point. 
I am not Aiden. <laughs> Alright, let's check out these other gadgets. What is this egg-shaped container, Professor Quack? This is a little gadget I call the Spy Putty. Oh, I know this one. I this is my only memory. Of this open game. the cute little egg container and spread the putty on whatever you want to make a copy of. Press yep. down and then peel the putty off. You have a perfect copy. Hmm, that looks rather silly. I know what you think. Yeah. You think that, that looks spy putty looks a lot silly like that putty. silly stuff they sell in toy stores. What you don't know is that I thought of it first. <laughs> Those duplicitous duplicators stole my idea! This game is the reason I wanted Silly Putty as a child. Not exaggerating, not joking about that. I literally, I remember I got this device. And I went to the place where you use it. And then when you copy the newspaper, because I remember this part. When you copy the newspaper, and then you have the newspaper on the Silly Putty was the entire reason I wanted a Silly Putty. Oh, right, because Silly Putty does actually work like that. It does. Yeah, okay. It rips ink off of paper. <laughs> it appears it can. to be a shoe. What is this gadget, Professor Quack? A shoe. Oh, that's the night vision shoe. One of my most ingenious inventions. I was about to say the same thing. If you happen to find yourself in a dark place, all you do is strap the shoe onto your head, and then you can see in the dark. How illuminating. How illuminating. Oh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it has excellent arch support. That's a bad shoe. I can't imagine that better shoe. That's the night vision shoe. I've never had a shoe do that for me. You can probably tell our actual criteria for taking a drink is whether or not we feel in pain after they say something. Mmm, it looks like a delicious snack. May I eat this, Professor? I did Quack? like these snacks. As okay, a that's the cheese, cheese and safe cracker kit. I love those. Safe cracker. It will help you to get into almost any safe <laughs> in the world. I won't explain exactly how it works because it's very scientific and complicated. Trust me when I say it works like a charm. And it tastes great in soup. That never occurred to me as a kid. That's yeah, the thing I need. This paper that was the is first part of the thing in this thing. Is the, yeah. Is the safe cracker here. Okay. I think that we still have the gum and he's still hanging out because we're allowed to come back and look yeah. at it. Neither. I just think we need the safe that cracker kit because that's step one because everything cracker. branched from this. Right. So I we mean, need to find the safe. You need to find the safe, but I think okay, and we're full. Right, of we're full, so we gotta go anyway. Yeah, and I bet you something's gonna be open. We can chat uh, with the locals, pick up some tips. Well, we got silly bunny. Dude's here. Got you, bunny <laughs> rabbit. <Where's he? laughs> My arm's off screen, but I'm pointing vigorously. At this with guy. Gusto. <laughs> and Mr. Bun Bun. I love this guy. Jaro Trinkets? Yeah. Hey. Welcome to the Trinket Emporium. My name is Gilbert. How may I be of service to you, oh honorable visitor, to this, our dear island home? I'm not sure yet. I was just noticing your not fine <laughs> selection of trinkets. Sir, I think that you will find we offer much more than mere trinkets. We pride ourselves in having the island's finest selection of rare and hard to find collector items and antiquities. Excellent. One never knows when they will be struck with an unquenchable desire to indulge in a blatant act of bourgeois consumerism. Our thoughts exactly, sir. I love this guy. I love Gilbert. Yeah, what are your, what are your... MVP? I like the jar of trinkets, but I'm wondering if you have them in cans. It's uncanny that you would ask me that, because <laughs> just this morning I ordered some. Unfortunately, they won't be here till next week. Wait a minute, is that a genuine Teddy Roosevelt teddy bear? Circa 1902? They actually yes, named it they are her. very rare. It no, might even fun. be on the endangered antiquities list. Endangered antiquities, though. Yeah. That was pretty That's bad. Fair. That's Sir, sweet. could I interest you in this nice-looking, uh, shoot? 
what are they called? It has something to do with the sound seltzers make when you plop them into water. Fizz? Yes, exactly. Can I interest you in a nice fizz? Let's see what happens if I give him money. I saw a thing about that 70s show in Fez. Apparently his name is Fez because it stands for a foreign exchange student. Yep. It wasn't actually his name. So not only did we not know where he was from, we don't even have his name. Well, and then there's the one episode where he says his name, right. but they bleep it out. And I heard allegedly he's saying every character's name, right. or maybe every actor's name, I'm not sure which, but he's saying like a long string of names, right. but it's not actually his right. His name. It's his name. That 70s show is great. Is uh, the uh, You put money on the table, I see. Well, I haven't put it on the table. It's nope. in my hand. Slap it on that table. I'd love Slap to take it your money, money, sir, but wouldn't you like to buy something? Of course. Of course. Of course. What could anyone possibly do with a whole jar of trinkets? It could be a paperweight. You could make a unique lamp out of it. It could be turned on its side to roll out cookie dough. There must be a million and one uses. How do I buy it from you? I tried giving you I guess you we money. don't need anything yet. This is... We don't know what we need yet. We're too dumb. Uh, we took too long. We took too long. We're dumb. This is a child's game. I don't think he understands how commerce works. Mm-hmm. Hi, honey. Welcome to the cantina. <laughs> I'm Bee Bear. If there's anything I can get you, sugar, like, for example, sugar, you just let me know. All right, thanks, B. Here's a number that goes out to all you white tux wearing spies. I want that karate trophy. What can you tell me about that slick looking lounge lizard over there? Him? Oh, that's Johnny Gecko. He wants to be the next Liberace of tango music. If only he had that kind of talent. Oh, he do. He can do this. See how fast he moves his fingers and how slow the music comes out? No one can do that. <laughs> other than him. Let's go talk to this dude. <laughs> Interested in a little game of gooey fish, Mr. Fox? Spy Fox. I've been known to play go fish from time to time. And you are? Artemis J. Big Pig. Please make your acquaintance. What do you say we make this game a little more interesting? interesting. Would you care to play some trinkets? I'm afraid I don't have anything That's I would what we call need the trinkets a trinket. For. How okay. unfortunate. I remember that they Why don't you come back when you have some trinkets to play with? Hmm, it makes the game so much more interesting. Interesting. Yes. Interesting. Let's go get trinkets. She said if we needed anything. <laughs> trinkets. We'll pay anything but another tango. Anything but another tango. Try for trinkets. Trinkets. Jar of trinkets. Interesting. Is that an entire jar of trinkets? Yes. My Aunt Elisa pickles them every September. Pickles them? Tell me, what's the difference between a souvenir and a trinket? Souvenir is a French want word the meaning to remember. To put the trinket is a Middle English word trinkets? which means yeah. small the shoemaker's jar. knife. I hope that clears it up for you, sir. I suppose. Trinkets. So, what's a jar of trinkets going for these days? Uh, normally, sir, they're 20 drachmas, but for you, how about 50? Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'll take it. Best deal I've heard of. <laughs> there you go, sir. Why, thank you. Gilbert? Gilbert. I was going to say Gilbert. I just thought that was too ridiculous for a rabbit. Thank you, Gilbert. Gilbert. I'll never see you again because that's probably the end of your use, but I appreciate you. Let's bring this jar of trinkets to the pig man. I remember the song. <laughs> Hello. Thank you. For, sorry for the abrupt cutoff, but I figured this is the best place to end it without it being too rigid of a point. But I guess we're going to start off with playing Go Fish with a Pig right after this. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.